Hey beautiful. Welcome back to another flawless Friday. Yes. We're back together. Hey. <laughs> okay, so today what we're going to be talking about is uh, shampoos. <laughs> well, shampoo, conditioner, like in shower items. Mm -hmm. So what to use when you're in the shower for what hair type and how to use it how to use it because there's a lot of them that are on our shelves mm -hmm. that we recommend and we just kind of want to go why we recommend it yes so yeah if you want to learn on what to use in the shower how to make your hair long lasting so you yeah. don't have to be washing it and you want to feel like those girls in the herbal essences commercials where they're like yeah okay we're gonna give you a list of items to use so stay tuned and keep watching so i'm gonna okay. pop up a photo of these products somewhere. somewhere okay so we're gonna start off our shampoo list with color extend <laughs> stop touching your hair i know because i'm trying to make it look good <laughs> <laughs> okay so color extend shampoo and conditioner is great for anyone with color treated hair Pretty much anyone can use it yeah like it's it's not heavy it's not too heavy for like fine hair so like hair might like mine it looks a lot thicker than it is it's not it's very thin um or even like thicker hair so it's just great overall for that um our second shampoo would be our all our yeah all soft all soft yeah <laughs> so our all soft it's got proteins in it it helps basically anyone's hair that is a little bit more distressed like me and Steph um, dry brittle yeah that is that has seen some things you'd want to use this shampoo and conditioner there's also a ultra mask that you could use like once a week depending on your shampoo routine normally every fourth wash you'd want to do a mask mm -hmm. um and then there's the well and also quick tip if you have super dry scalp um, from like the weather changing like winter time and all that you can actually use all soft and it'll help a lot So if you exfoliate your scalp a little bit Pop that on there and let it kind of sit for a minute or two. It actually helps a lot with moisturizing your scalp And we also have a mega all soft Which is great for that like thicker more coarse hair curly hair. It's great for curly hair um, yeah, just anyone with that needs the extra moisture. I would not recommend Mega All Soft for finer hair. Like hair so like mine. Yeah. Or me. Or because I would literally end up like a grease ball. And my hair would have absolutely no volume. No. On short hair, exactly. you can't use that. Exactly. Um, so next up would be our Frizz Dismiss. So Frizz mm -hmm. Dismiss would be for anyone that has frizzy hair mm -hmm. um it's really good for in the summer for anyone who's naturally curly um so it doesn't go <laughs> yeah you're not gonna be a, like a lion like it grows like my it'll mom... grow nicely but not it won't yeah it won't expand as you're out in in the heat like humidity issue <laughs> yeah so the humidity causes it to literally grow so i always used to tell them like your hair is growing right now but that helped it <laughs> yeah well i mean living in winter doesn't help but no it's very humid like it's yeah there's a lot of moisture in, in the air. air yeah and then our fourth one would be our extreme line by red yes. so this one it's more like you shouldn't use this every day this one would be you're in the shower almost like a treatment ish mm -hmm. shampoo you might want to use this every third wash switch it up in the shampoo area and it kind of just takes your hair and anything that's broken it helps like repair it yeah versus like the all soft is one for that you could use every day and it won't damage your hair even though you should not be washing your hair every day no no one's got time for that no but if you are, like you would use your all soft and then switch to extreme and then go back to your all soft. Mm -hmm. And it'll help keep your hair that's brittle and dry and that has seen some things strong. Yeah, it's great because it has um, a lot of protein in it, but it is one of those products where if you, you can use it too much. If you use it too much, there's too much protein in your hair that you've now added, which will actually cause breakage more of a problem exactly it's almost like too much strength and it literally snaps yeah instead of it just frizzing or breakage like split ends mm -hmm. it literally will snap off yeah because you're making it too strong 
Yeah, literally. So if any of you guys know me or Liz, you know we got problems <laughs> in the hair coloring area. It's a little job. Subject. So you probably noticed that our hair has changed literally in almost every single video. <laughs> yeah, did I still have brunette? I think we both did. Yeah. I don't even know. Okay. But anyways, so with that being said, like when you're, say, stripping or lightening or changing your color yeah. that often you cause a lot of breakage like oh, yeah. you really do honestly like there's safe ways of doing it um which obviously like we will test things out on ourselves that we would never <laughs> do on a client yeah. just to kind of see where our hair limit would take us right like i don't if i have to cut my hair i don't mind kind of thing but um Olaplex is an amazing treatment for those kind of situations. So, you know. Yeah, we you know. do use Olaplex with our lightener. Mm -hmm. um, we do recommend it for 99.9% .9 of all of our clients to add yeah. it. Even to adding it into our clients that are like a red or like a fashion brunette. It kind of locks in that color a little bit longer as well and mm -hmm. helps treat the hair. So that's always an add-on that we recommend. And then there's the shampoo and conditioner that you can go home with, along with a treatment, mm -hmm. some bonding oil. Literally the whole line from Olaplex is amazing. They've done a lot of studies to like get where they are. Yeah, and it literally rebonds your hair. It's yeah. It's great. It's the best product ever, I swear. I think every hairdresser should have it. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of companies out there that have tried to do the same thing, but it's... It's not the same. Yeah, it's definitely not the same. Yeah. Olaplex is number one in my books. I'm assuming in yours. But you may be a traitor. We don't know. Traitor. <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay. Um, I'm going to let Liz explain this one because it's like her favorite. She uses it. I should be using it. I'm not going to lie. Why don't I use it? I'm going to start it. using it. This okay. line. What's it called? One second. Okay. Sista. So this line is, um, it's called Revive. Mm -hmm. It is hands down the best product that I have, any of my clients have tried. I haven't, per like I've used it when I, right after I had my daughter and I had a lot of hair loss she, and postpartum. She was bold then. I was, I was very bold. <laughs> but, so I. <laughs> I had more hair, that's yeah. a problem. <laughs> So I used this line right after that and I didn't have to go through that long period of time waiting for that hair to come back. Um, it basically jump-started my hair to grow again. And it, there's there's four there's four products. So the one is the prep, which is your shampoo. Two is the prime. And then there's a thickening spray and a treatment spray. Mm -hmm. um, but my clients that have switched to this that are thinning hair, not even thinning, just like finer texture, some that are thinning, but like I've noticed a difference between their appointments, whether it's I'm redoing their color in four to six weeks and they're coming in, I can see a difference in their hair. Mm -hmm. Their hair looks thicker, it feels better. It is like the god of shampoo for thinning hair. That's a big deal. It is, but we should make step on this because yeah. Her four hairs on her head need to get a little thicker. Sorry, Steph. Poor me. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to explain my favorite shampoo and conditioner. The thing that keeps us blonde. Um, so we use, we've gone through a lot of different types of purple and blue shampoos here at the salon. But we have found our favorite. So our favorite is Fanola No Yellow. And no, and orange. no orange. So Fanola No Yellow is really great for people that want to, and want to stay on the cooler side of blonde. So it's good for people with um, a lot of brassiness that want to go more to that like silvery type of tone um, or keep that up. So it's great for that. Um, Fanola, that's what I use personally. Like sometimes I'll put in the No orange but it's like rare i'll put that in sometimes i'll mix them um the no orange is great for people with orange so it's great for people also that have say lighter hair like ours that don't want that super icy look and they want more of that like bleach blonde that's what i like use. more I yeah use, i use the no orange in my shampoo yeah more of that like naturally toned blonde right now honestly the lighting in this room is not 
help in this situation. So we, I think we both look like we have the exact same hair color. Mm, no, no, you can yellow. tell yours is, yeah. yeah. So she likes a little bit of warmth in her hair. I have naturally a lot more warmth in my hair than like she does. So I'll have it more often. So I like to use the purple over the blue. Um, but the blue is great. Like I said, for people that want to stay with that bleach blonde color or just have that little bit of brassiness to even a regular hair color. So even if you're like, I've used Red it on, on a, yeah, I've used it on people with like a level six, which is like a medium to light brown and it has made a difference with their color. So, and it's really good for reds that want to be more of that cooler red versus mm -hmm. an orange red. We have also... Are less on the list, but definitely not the least important is our Redken Clean Brew um, for men mm -hmm. shampoo. Um, so I mean, any product isn't specifically for men or female. Men or female, like yeah, if like a guy has hair color or frizz problems or whatever, use the women's it's more, shampoo. It's like I find it's just it's a scent thing. Like the men's one, it's an orange zest versus something that's like a little bit more floral. Yeah. So anyone can use anything. Like There's a lot of, say, like clarifying shampoos out there. Um, Brett can actually much. have has one too. Um, but what I like about the Clean Brew is A, it smells amazing. Um, B, it's not overly priced, which I love. Like obviously, like we want to give you guys the best deal you can get. Um for the product and the obviously the quality and all that of the product so the i find that the clean brew shampoo deep cleans all that extra product off so, because it's made for a working man like for a guy that uses a lot of product on their hair like gel and mm -hmm. pump like pomade pomades pomades <laughs> and waxes and all that so for someone that uses say mousse and wax and all that stuff on their hair like as a woman like Liz will use a lot more of that than I will, but then again, I don't wash my hair for like a week sometimes. I washed this yesterday, I'm sorry. But so because I go a week, like there's a lot of buildup on my scalp, on my hair. So that shampoo is amazing at deep cleaning. Hair changes throughout the seasons as well. Mm -hmm. Let's be realistic. Your hair is not the same during, you know, the summer, in the winter it's totally different hair totally different scalp all that so you have to really look at all that kind of stuff and take that into consideration we want to do a giveaway of this gift set which is our all soft shampoo and conditioner mm -hmm. so since we were recommending things for you to use in the shower we now want to give you something to use Who's in the shower, shower? <laughs> <laughs> but to win this we have to go back and we need you to make sure you have liked this video mm -hmm. leave a comment mm -hmm. tag your friends <laughs> tag your friends, <laughs> tag your friends mm -hmm. and that you have to be subscribed um so we had problems with announcing the last winner on youtube by uh, live last time We'll have it figured out this time. <laughs> if it's not, you have to make sure you're on our Instagram at either Hair Love by Elizabeth. Or, wow, well, I forgot. Blended, blended by, by Stephanie. <laughs> or, and our um, Laser It page, which is Laser It Spa. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys don't see the winner there, it will be on our stories. So watch our little stories. Yeah. I mean, we'll we'll post it on the next video. Like we the video. the last one. <laughs> i know we didn't on the last one but, but you know trial and error guys trial and error like we're just starting this all out you know it's fun we're still trying to figure out editing, editing so completely. yeah so i mean you know you guys have been pretty good so Thank i'm you. sure you can cut us some slack so we will announce the winner on friday the 24th so this video today is the 17th so the new video on the 24th will show the winner of this product. So if you guys have any questions or you want to know more about any of the products we went over, leave them in the comments down below. Yes. And we'll see you guys next Flawless Friday. Stay beautiful.
Well, that was good. Right? <laughs>